Inertial electrostatic confinement is a branch of fusion research that uses an electric field to elevate a plasma to fusion conditions. Electric fields can do work on charged particles either ions or electrons, heating, confining them to fusion conditions. This is typically done in a sphere, with material moving radially inward, but can also be done in a cylindrical or beam geometry. The electric field can be generated using a wire grid or a non-neutral plasma cloud. Topic. Mechanism For every volt that an ion is accelerated across, its kinetic energy gain correspond to increase of temperature of 11,604 kelvins. For example, a typical magnetic confinement fusion plasma is 15 keV, or 170 megakelvin. An ion with a charge of 1 can reach this temperature by being accelerated across a 15,000 volts drop. In fuses, the voltage drop is made with a wire cage. However high conduction losses occur in fuses because most ions fall into the cage before fusion can occur. This prevents current fuses from ever producing net power. History <laughs> 1930s Mark Oliphant adapts Cockcroft and Walton's particle accelerator at the Cavendish Laboratory to create tritium and helium-3 by nuclear fusion. Topic: 1950s. Three researchers at LANL, including Jim Tuck, first explored the idea theoretically in a 1959 paper. The idea had been proposed by a colleague. The concept was to capture electrons inside a positive cage. The electrons would accelerate the ions to fusion conditions. Other concepts were being developed which would later merge into the IEC field. These include the publication of the Lawson Criterion by John D. Lawson in 1957 in England. This puts on minimum criteria on power plant designs which do fusion using hot Maxwellian plasma clouds. Also, work exploring how electrons behave inside the biconic cusp, done by Harold Grad Group at the Courant Institute in 1957. A biconic cusp is a device with two alike magnetic poles facing one another i.e. north-north. Electrons and ions can be trapped between these. Topic: 1960s. In his work with vacuum tubes, Philo Farnsworth observed that electric charge would accumulate in regions of the tube. Today, this effect is known as the multipactor effect. Farnsworth reasoned that if ions were concentrated high enough they could collide and fuse. In 1962, he filed a patent on a design using a positive inner cage to concentrate plasma, in order to achieve nuclear fusion. During this time, Robert L. Hirsch joined the Farnsworth Television Labs and began work on what became the fuser. Hirsch patented the design in 1966 and published the design in 1967. The Hirsch machine was a 17.8 cm diameter machine with 150 kV voltage drop across it and used ion beams to help inject material. Simultaneously, a key plasma physics text was published by Lyman Spitzer at Princeton in 1963. Spitzer took the ideal gas laws and adapted them to an ionized plasma, developing many of the fundamental equations used to model a plasma. Meanwhile, magnetic mirror theory and direct energy conversion were developed by Richard F. Post's group at LLNL. A magnetic mirror or magnetic bottle, is similar to a biconic cusp except that the poles are reversed. 1980s In 1980 Robert W. Bussard developed a cross between a fuser and magnetic mirror, the polywell. The idea was to confine a non-neutral plasma using magnetic fields. This would, in turn, attract ions. This idea had been published previously, notably by Oleg Lavrontiev in Russia. Bussard patented the design and received funding from Defense Threat Reduction Agency, DARPA and the U.S. Navy to develop the idea. 1990s Bussard and Nicholas Kral published theory and experimental results in the early 90s. In response, Todd Ryder at MIT, under Lawrence Lidsky developed general models of the device. Ryder argued that the device was fundamentally limited. That same year, 1995, William Nevins at LLNL published a criticism of the polywell. 
Nevins argued that the particles would build up angular momentum, causing the dense core to degrade. In the mid-90s, Bussard publications prompted the development of fuses at the University of Wisconsin-Madison and at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. Madison's machine was first built in 1995. George H. Miley's team at Illinois built a 25 cm fuser which has produced 107 neutrons using deuterium gas and discovered the star mode, a fuser operation in 1994. The following year, the first U.S.-Japan workshop on IEC fusion was conducted. This is now the premier conference for IEC researchers. At this time in Europe, an IEC device was developed as a commercial neutron source by Daimler Chrysler Aerospace under the name FusionStar. In the late 90s, hobbyist Richard Hull began building amateur fuses in his home. In March 1999, he achieved a neutron rate of 105 neutrons per second. Hull and Paul Schatzkin, started Fuser.net in 1998. Through this open forum, a community of amateur fusioneers have done nuclear fusion using homemade fuses. Topic 2000s. Despite demonstration in 2000 of 7,200 hours of operation without degradation at high input power as a sealed reaction chamber with automated control, the Fusion Star project was cancelled and the company NSD Limited was founded. The spherical Fusion Star technology was then further developed as a linear geometry system with improved efficiency and higher neutron output by NSD Limited, which became NSD Fusion GmbH in 2005. In early 2000, Alex Klein, developed a cross between a polywell and ion beams. Using Gabor lensing Dr. Klein attempted to focus plasma into non-neutral clouds for fusion. He founded FP Generation, which in April 2009, raised $3 million in financing from two venture funds. The company developed the mix and marble machine, but ran into technical challenges and closed. In response to Ryder's criticisms, researchers at LANL reasoned that a plasma oscillating could be at local thermodynamic equilibrium, this prompted the pops and penning trap machines. At this time, MIT researchers became interested in fuses for space propulsion and powering space vehicles. Specifically, researchers developed fuses with multiple inner cages. In 2005, Greg Piefer founded Phoenix Nuclear Labs to develop the fuser into a neutron source for the mass production of medical isotopes. Robert Bussard began speaking openly about the polywell in 2006. He attempted to generate interest in the research, before passing away from multiple myeloma in 2007. His company was able to raise over $10 million in funding from the U.S. Navy in 2008 and 2009. Topic 2010s. Bussard's publications prompted the University of Sydney to start research into electron trapping in polywells in 2010. The group has explored theory, modeled devices, built devices, measured trapping, and simulated trapping. These machines were all low power and cost, and all had a small beta ratio. In 2010, Carl Greninger founded the Northwest Nuclear Consortium, an organization which teaches nuclear engineering principles to high school students, using a 60 kV fuser. In 2012, Mark Supps received attention, in Brooklyn for a fuser. Supps also measured electron trapping inside a polywell. In 2013, the first IEC textbook was published by George H. Miley. Topic. Designs with cage. Topic. Fuser The best known IEC device is the fuser. This device typically consists of two wire cages inside a vacuum chamber. These cages are referred to as grids. The inner cage is held at a negative voltage against the outer cage. A small amount of fusion fuel is introduced, deuterium gas being the most common. The voltage between the grids causes the fuel to ionize. The positive ions fall down the voltage drop towards the negative inner cage. As they accelerate, the electric field does work on the ions, heating them to fusion conditions. If these ions collide, they can fuse. Fuses can also use ion guns rather than electric grids. Fuses are popular with amateurs, because they can be easy to construct, can regularly produce fusion and are a practical way to study nuclear physics. Fuses have also been used as a commercial neutron generator for industrial applications. No fuser has come close to producing a significant amount of fusion power. 
They can be dangerous if proper care is not taken because they require high voltages and can produce harmful radiation neutrons and X -rays. Often, ions collide with the cages or wall. This conducts energy away from the device limiting its performance. In addition, collisions heat the grids, which limits high power devices. Collisions also spray high mass ions into the reaction chamber, pollute the plasma and cool the fuel. Topic. Pops In examining non-thermal plasma, workers at LANL realized that scattering was more likely than fusion. This was due to the Coulomb scattering cross-section being larger than the fusion cross-section. In response they built POPS, a machine with a wire cage, where ions are moving at steady state, or oscillating around. Such plasma can be at local thermodynamic equilibrium. The ion oscillation is predicted to maintain the equilibrium distribution of the ions at all times, which would eliminate any power loss due to Coulomb scattering, resulting in a net energy gain. Working off this design, researchers in Russia simulated the POPS design using particle in cell code in 2009. This reactor concept becomes increasingly efficient as the size of the device shrinks. However, very high transparencies greater than are required for successful operation of the POPS concept. To this end S. Krupaka Morali et al. suggested that carbon nanotubes can be used to construct the cathode grids. This is also the first suggested application of carbon nanotubes directly in any fusion reactor. Topic. Designs with fields Several schemes attempt to combine magnetic confinement and electrostatic fields with IEC. The goal is to eliminate the inner wire cage of the fuser, and the resulting problems. Topic. Polywell The polywell uses a magnetic field to trap electrons. When electrons or ions move into a dense field, they can be reflected by the magnetic mirror effect. A polywell is designed to trap electrons in the center, with a dense magnetic field surrounding them. This is typically done using six electromagnets in a box. Each magnet is positioned so their poles face inward, creating a null point in the center. The electrons trapped in the center form a virtual electrode. Ideally, this electron cloud accelerates ions to fusion conditions. Topic. Penning trap A penning trap uses both an electric and a magnetic field to trap particles, a magnetic field to confine particles radially and a quadrupole electric field to confine the particles axially. In a penning trap fusion reactor, first the magnetic and electric fields are turned on. Then, electrons are emitted into the trap, caught and measured. The electrons form a virtual electrode similar to that in a polywell, described above. These electrons are intended to then attract ions, accelerating them to fusion conditions. In the 1990s, researchers at LANL built a penning trap to do fusion experiments. Their device PFX was a small millimeters and low power, one fifth of a Tesla, less than 10,000 volts machine. Topic: <laughs> Marble. Marble multiple ambipolar recirculating beam line experiment was a device which moved electrons and ions back and forth in a line. Particle beams were reflected using electrostatic optics. These optics made static voltage surfaces in free space. Such surfaces reflect only particles with a specific kinetic energy, while higher energy particles can traverse these surfaces unimpeded, although not unaffected. Electron trapping and plasma behavior was measured by Langmuir probe. Marble kept ions on orbits that do not intersect grid wires. The latter also improves the space charge limitations by multiple nesting of ion beams at several energies. Researchers encountered problems with ion losses at the reflection points. Ions slowed down when turning, spending lots of time there, leading to high conduction losses. Topic. Mix The multipole ion beam experiment mix accelerated ions and electrons into a negatively charged electromagnet. Ions were focused using Gabor lensing. Researcher had problems with a very thin ion turning region very close to a solid surface where ions could be conducted away. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Magnetically insulated Devices have been proposed where the negative cage is magnetically insulated from the incoming plasmas. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> General criticism. In 1995, Todd Ryder critiqued all fusion power schemes using plasma systems not at thermodynamic equilibrium. Ryder assumed that plasma clouds at equilibrium had the following properties. They were quasi-neutral, where the positives and negatives are equally mixed together. They had evenly mixed fuel. They were isotropic, meaning that its behavior was the same in any given direction. The plasma had a uniform energy and temperature throughout the cloud. The plasma was an unstructured Gaussian sphere. Ryder argued that if such system was sufficiently heated, it could not be expected to produce net power, due to high X-ray losses. Other fusion researchers such as Nicholas Kral, Robert W. Bussard, Norman Rostocker and Monkhorst disagreed with this assessment. They argue that the plasma conditions inside IEC machines are not quasi-neutral and have non-thermal energy distributions. Because the electron has a mass and diameter much smaller than the ion, the electron temperature can be several orders of magnitude different than the ions. This may allow the plasma to be optimized, whereby cold electrons would reduce radiation losses and hot ions would raise fusion rates. Topic. Thermalization The primary problem that Ryder has raised is the thermalization of ions. Ryder argued that, in equation-neutral plasma where all the positives and negatives are distributed equally, the ions will interact. As they do, they exchange energy, causing their energy to spread out in a Wiener process heading to a bell curve or Gaussian function of energy. Ryder focused his arguments within the ion population and did not address electron-to-ion energy exchange or non-thermal plasmas. This spreading of energy causes several problems. One problem is making more and more cold ions, which are too cold to fuse. This would lower output power. Another problem is higher energy ions which have so much energy that they can escape the machine. This lowers fusion rates while raising conduction losses, because as the ions leave, energy is carried away with them. Topic. Radiation Ryder estimated that once the plasma is thermalized the radiation losses would outpace any amount of fusion energy generated. He focused on a specific type of radiation, X-ray radiation. A particle in a plasma will radiate light any time it speeds up or slows down. This can be estimated using the Lama formula. Ryder estimated this for DT deuterium tritium fusion, DD deuterium fusion, and DHe3 deuterium helium-3 fusion, and that break-even operation with any fuel except DT is difficult. Topic: <coughs> <coughs> Core focus. In 1995, Nevins argued that such machines would need to expend a great deal of energy maintaining ion focus in the center. The ions need to be focused so that they can find one another, collide and fuse. Over time the positive ions and negative electrons would naturally intermix because of electrostatic attraction. This causes the focus to be lost. This is core degradation. Nevins argued mathematically, that the fusion gain ratio of fusion power produced to the power required to maintain the non-equilibrium ion distribution function is limited to 0.1 assuming that the device is fueled with a mixture of deuterium and tritium. The core focus problem was also identified in fuses by Tim Thorson at the University of Wisconsin-Madison during his 1996 doctoral work. Charged ions would have some motion before they started accelerating in the center. This motion could be a twisting motion, where the ion had angular momentum, or simply a tangential velocity. This initial motion causes the cloud in the center of the fuser to be unfocused. <laughs> Brillouin limit In 1945, Columbia University professor Leon Brillouin, suggested that there was a limit to how many electrons one could pack into a given volume. This limit is commonly referred to as the Brillouin limit or Brillouin density. This is shown below. N equals B two two mu zero m c two. Display style N equals frac B caret two two mu underscore zero m c caret two, where B is the magnetic field. Mu Zero. Display style mu underscore zero. The permeability of free space m, the mass of confined particles, and c, the speed of light. This may limit the charge density inside IEC devices. 
Topic: Commercial applications. Since fusion reactions generates neutrons, the fuser has been developed into a family of compact sealed reaction chamber neutron generators for a wide range of applications that need moderate neutron output rates at a moderate price. Very high output neutron sources may be used to make products such as molybdenum-99 and nitrogen-13, medical isotopes used for PET scans. Devices. <inaudible> <inaudible> Topic. Government and commercial Los Alamos National Laboratory researchers developed POPs and Penning Trap Turkish Atomic Energy Authority In 2013 this team built a 30 cm fuser at the Sarakoy Nuclear Research and Training Center in Turkey. This fuser can reach 85 kV and do deuterium fusion, producing 2.4 times 10 to the 4 neutrons per second. ITT Corporation Hirsch's original machine was a 17.8 cm diameter machine with 150 kV voltage drop across it. This machine used ion beams. Phoenix Nuclear Labs has developed a commercial neutron source based on a fuser, achieving 3x10 to the power of 11 neutrons per second with the deuterium-deuterium fusion reaction for 132 hours of continuous operation. Energy Matter Conversion Inc. is a company in Santa Fe, which has developed large high-powered polywell devices for the U.S. Navy. NSD Gradle Fusion Sealed IEC Neutron Generators for DD MeV or DT MeV with a range of maximum outputs are manufactured by Gradle Saal in Luxembourg. Atomic Energy Organization of Iran researchers at Shahid Beheshti University in Iran have built a 60 cm diameter fuser which can produce 10E7 neutrons per second at 140 kV using deuterium gas. Universities <inaudible> 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 Tokyo Institute of Technology has four IEC devices of different shapes, a spherical machine, a cylindrical device, a coaxial double cylinder and a magnetically assisted device. University of Wisconsin-Madison A group at Wisconsin-Madison has several large devices, since 1995. University of Illinois The Fusion Studies Laboratory has built a approximately 25 cm fuser which has produced 10E7 neutrons using deuterium gas. Massachusetts Institute of Technology for his doctoral thesis in 2007, Carl Dietrich built a fuser and studied its potential use in spacecraft propulsion. Also, Thomas Maguire studied multiple well fuses for applications in spaceflight. University of Sydney has built several IEC devices and also low-power, low-beta-ratio polywells. The first was constructed of Teflon rings and was about the size of a coffee cup. The second has approximately 12 diameter full casing, metal rings. Eindhoven Technical University Topic See also Topic Patents PT Farnsworth US Patent 3,258,402 June 1966 Electric Discharge Nuclear Interaction P.T. Farnsworth, U.S. Patent 3,386,883. June 1968 Method and Apparatus Hirsch, Robert, U.S. Patent 3,530,036. September 1970 Apparatus Hirsch, Robert, U.S. Patent 3,530,497. September 1970 Generating Apparatus — Hirsch, Meeks Hirsch, Robert, U.S. Patent 3,533,910. October 1970, Lithium-ion source. Hirsch, Robert, U.S. Patent 3,655,508. April 1972, Reduce plasma leakage. Hirsch, Robert, U.S. Patent 3,664,920. May 1972, Electrostatic containment. R.W. Bussard. Method and Apparatus for Controlling Charged Particles", U.S. Patent 4826646, May 1989 Method and Apparatus — Magnetic Grid Fields. R. W. Bussard, "...Method and Apparatus for Creating and Controlling Nuclear Fusion Reactions", 
U.S. Patent 5160695, November 1992 Method and Apparatus — Ion Acoustic Waves S. T. Brooks — Nuclear Fusion Reactor — UK Patent GB2461267, May 2012 T. V. Stanko — Nuclear Fusion Device — UK Patent GB2545882, July 2017